So Amber started as a very small fishing community and then we moved into mining. And we had coal stairs that ran just along the side of this building up to 20, 25 years ago. Coal was exported to all corners of the world from here. But with the decline in mining, uh, the majority of the focus for industry was on fishing. Amber Development Trust was set up 23 years ago after community consultation. A lot of the community felt that they had been let down by the existing councils at the time as far as um, money put into regenerating the town. So it was decided to set up Development Trust. And from being a very small fishing community, they were very active in seeing what they wanted. A very resilient community, very happy, and Amber is known as the friendliest port. Our latest project is Lobster Hatchery, where we help with the conservation of lobsters. But it was seeing the change from white fishing in the local community to um, shell fishing. And while there are quotas on white fish, the majority of our fishing now are for under 10 meter holes, and they do shell fishing and they go out and do day fishing. We saw that there was going to be pressure put on the shell fish stocks. And rather than sit back and wait for something to happen, so something like shellfish, lobsters, languisty, crabs being quartered, uh, we wanted to be proactive and start putting stocks back into the water before we got to any dangerous levels. Amber relies very heavily on tourism. And there is a perception of a very romantic view with fishing boats coming in, with seagulls trailing behind them. At the schools, we're bringing them in so that the children actually understand the process and what's in the sea. So if there's a touch type there, they'll be able to have a look and see different things and touch them. But they'll understand the process and how important the fishing is to the local community. There's a few different ways we make money and there's a few different ways that we intend to make money in the future as well. So um, the hatchery itself is going to be a tourist attraction for people to come and have a look around and there will be a charge for for people coming in and seeing the, uh, the lobsters progress from the larvae through to the ones that we set back to sea. Um, we've got the fish counter that operates seven days a week. Um, we have a whole range of different uh, local fish there. I think we have 30 odd fish box scheme expands that on a, on a wider level across the region. So people are able to access our fish from the different groups that they have around the place. That brings an additional income stream through, helps create jobs, and it helps support um, some the local fishing industry. And lastly, we're trying to do a lot more work with some of the local restaurants in the northeast on a buy one, set one free basis. Created um, a couple of opportunities to look after the fish counter and the hatchery. Uh, another one is interpretation of, um, of the hatchery and we're looking later on in the summer to take on somebody else in the